Dear Papa, thank you so much for taking such good care of me, for showing me what is not me in me. This morning I enjoyed so much from my bed the, the beautifulness of all, the sounds of the street from the first toot of a car uh, making me jump in my bed, then all sounds of children, voices, birds, step steps of people, peacocks, the caress, the, the, the caressing of the broom on the floor, it all sounded so harmoniously to my non-judging ears. <laughs> Life is a wonderful and free concert and show uh, when one is on in touch with this inner treasure beneath life. May I keep you in my heart forever, Sumitra. What a beautiful letter. What a beautiful letter when we can come somehow. Not many human beings will be writing a letter like this. Even to their family, even to their loved ones, they won't be writing a letter like this. This letter is written from the Buddha state within your own self. Everybody else is writing from the Buddhi state. But this one, these words are coming out of the Buddha heart itself. When you can listen to all the sounds together, from what is traditionally felt to be beautiful, the sound of birds, uh, this one says, Sumitra, the sound of birds, but even the tut tut of the cars, you see, even the sound of children's voices, the people walking on the street, the, pe the peacocks, even the broom sweeping the floors. It is beautiful for me. Everything sounds harmonious to my non-judging ears. Yeah. Which is the ears that can listen without judgment, without resistance, without complaint. This one, the Buddha's ears. The Buddha's ears can listen like that. Life is a wonderful and free concert. What beautiful words and a show when one is in touch with this inner treasure beneath life. May I keep you in my heart forever. Isn't it amazing? Even the last letter I'm, I'm reading is such a testimony to what uh, is emerging out of your own satsang. Out of your own satsang, the one who is discovering the truth. You see? can speak these words and even these words are sweet music even to the gods themselves for one like this because this comes out of a heart of pure innocence and joy this is why I say that in a sense we are returning like children again with a kind of innocence and a freshness but I don't even know if children even will listen like this you have to go beyond from childhood you have to go into infancy only the infants will hear like that. The children already, you start to develop complex. And so many things are troubling them already. You have to go earlier to the place of some innocence, where someone can just, everything is a wonder is somehow. But when an adult finds this out, then this is something else. When an adult, because it is different from the child. Because there's a saying that in some ways a child and a sage are the same. At one stage in the child's existence, the child's mind and the sage's mind is, are very similar, but only for a short period. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the sage will always be equal in their perceiving. But the child will be like this for a while, but then there's going to be the force of conditioning to come later. Whereas there's no later for the sage. It is already burnt. So, when, 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 when in adult life, even some people before they reach adulthood, because there are Buddhas who are Buddhas in childhood also, there are some Buddhas in teenage life, they became Buddhas. They don't wait until they're 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 before they became Buddhas. They were Buddhas from early. They found the secret from they were early. And out of their mouth comes words like this, you see. So I am very happy. Um, my, my lips feel blessed to read the, the, the letter, you see. <laughs> so, thank you. Very good.